Hi, my name is Spencer, and today I'll be reacting to Star Trek Discovery Season 4, Episode 8. I am somewhat looking forward to seeing what happens during the latter half of this season. I don't really know what to expect, necessarily. I'm excited to see what Book and Tarka, I think that's his name. I'm excited to see what they do, what they end up doing here. I'm excited to see what they do with the Spore Drive. I'm, I'm very excited that Discovery is not the only ship with a spore drive. <laughs> that being said, I, I don't necessarily expect that we'll get a whole lot of Book and Tarka, at least in this episode, maybe. Uh, I expect it'll be more that we will get the search for them. We'll probably get a lot of Burnham's point of view in trying to, I don't know, come to, come to grips with Book's decision to leave Maybe get some politics with the the Federation and uh, how that will connect to uh, Book and Tarka's actions and potential actions going forward. But but I am glad for this progression of the plot. Now, I know in the last episode I was I was pretty critical of some things. And I, I don't plan on I don't plan on holding back on my criticisms necessarily. But I hope to be more optimistic be more positive with my just with how how i view the episodes I, I i'm i'm definitely not a fan of people who are just critical and hate on every single thing that is discovery i'm also not a huge fan of people who just praise every single thing that discovery does and to me it's not really fair if, to place so much negativity on on discovery but it's also not fair to just totally disregard any criticisms that any people might have because some criticisms are totally valid and it's okay to, to acknowledge that. That being said, if you are one of those two groups, I mean no disrespect to, to you guys. It's just I, I don't agree with those mindsets and I don't think it's a, a productive way of thinking necessarily. So I hope that my opinions, whether they be good or bad, I hope that at least I can acknowledge uh, the opposing opinion with with my thoughts hopefully that's coming across that i'm i'm trying i'm trying to see the good even if i even if i tend to be a hater sometimes so hopefully hopefully i'm i'm, I'm able to see past my criticisms with that out of the way don't forget to like this video if you like it and if you have anything to say about this episode or the previous episodes please put it in the comments also if you're not currently subscribed but you like this kind of content i'd appreciate it if you would consider subscribing i'm getting close to a thousand subscribers which is kind of a big deal so any any assistance to get to that goal would be fantastic, but I understand if this is not your kind of content. Anyways, I don't think I have anything else to say before just diving into this episode, so I will go ahead and do that. I need to book this ship found. Scramble every available. Yeah, figures. Can anyone please tell me how the hell did our prototype get out in the first place? So you would think that uh, they would cut. They would have come up with a way to track spore jumps. Especially with Discovery being here in the future. How did you have no idea it was coming? That's a good question. If word gets out that the only functional prototype has been stolen, it will threaten everything, including trust that we have the... Do you not have, like, the blueprints that you could re replicate this prototype? I mean, I know, I know that it's, like, a big deal that it's been taken and stolen, but, like, I don't know, I guess the implication... Is that, oh, they have this prototype, so, and it's the only functioning prototype, so that there's no other way to recreate this? I don't know. You would think they would have the prototypes and that they could use repro reprogrammable matter to replicate it again. I don't know. But you're too close to this. You cannot be involved. Yeah. I mean, they're probably going to go do their own investigation anyways. I agree. You have your orders, Captain Burnham. Dismissed. Well... What can you do? I mean, you can always disobey orders, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what the best idea would be. How long do you need to build a weapon? 24 hours should do it. She's hailing you again. Of course. Well, it's not the most flattering picture of me, but you, you look fantastic. <laughs> well, at least he's got, still got a sense of humor. Once the DMA is gone, she'll face political pressure to pardon us. She'll find a way to explain that in this case, the ends justified the means. Well... I mean, politics are very complex, so at least they can be. That could happen, but it could also go a different way. I know a place that won't be on their radar. But it's going to cost us. Mm. But does Burnham also know about this place? And don't worry, cost won't be an issue. How, how is that not going to be an issue? What, what do you have that you could offer? 
I don't know. Is he going to be like, I want you to go search for book. I know you can do it. Off the record. Why would he do this? What am I missing? Do you not know about his tragic backstory? Evidently not. You find a way. You have to burn him. That's also an order. Well, there we go. They can do something now. Still kind of unofficial, but it's something. Better than nothing. I will admit, I do get a little bit of uh, nostalgia when I hear the, the theme song. Uh, just nostalgia for, like, season one. Like, when that was coming out. It's just, like, so exciting to get new Trek. We'll need a visual on the area. Any idea how to do that? Zora? Could you just go over there? Look at it? You can get us what we need. A broker? He's an old friend. I will have to make the request myself. Keep combing through for more data points in the meantime. Okay, so she's still trying to be sneaky. Perhaps more tedious than is worthy of your time. Thank you. Uh, I'd appreciate that. How considerate. Does he appreciate, really appreciate it? Or is he like, he seems, he seems a little like, oh, I mean, I was going to do it. It'd be fine if I did it, but I don't know. I believe there is no one else who could possibly convince Mr. Booker to correct his path. But I do not envy your position should he refuse. Yeah, there, there are benefits to being close to whatever mission or case that you're on. But like, sometimes it's like, okay, you're too close to this. You don't need to be involved. Cause is fun until he's not. So let me see the talking. Think of me as a shadow. Well, we'll see how this goes. It's never that simple. Who's Mr. Person now? My shadow. Where's Michael? Not here, honestly. Come on. Okay, so this is the place. And apparently he didn't tell Tarka that Michael also knows about this place. You have a deal? I'll take your Latin, but we don't have a deal. Old score to settle. Or did you forget? Of course. Mm. Yeah, well. We need the Isolinium, Haas. Once you're listening, I said not without more Latin. Didn't Targa say it wasn't going to be a problem? Nice seeing you, though. You're Michael Haas to me. Haas. Haas, wait. Okay, well, now he knows that Michael knows about this place. So you've got nothing to lose by letting us try. We keep the Latinum. We get the Isolinium. Win win. Yeah, could be profitable. And there may be a few surprises. I, I'm not sure. Any questions? Just one. Glad we're getting some more OO. But I also know how it feels to want to do something, anything, and how it feels when you can't. So this character moment feels a little better. It's not sh so forced in there. So I'm cool with this. Just wait for it. Ah, I see. Interesting. I mean, it's a good cloak. Is it really smart to be, like, in full uniform? Watch yourself, Starfleet. You better check your pockets. He might have tried to pick you. This is Lieutenant Commander Awoshikun. This is Haas Mazzaro. His face is so interesting. The makeup. Why would you want pictures of stars? Stars are pretty. <laughs> Everyone is so secretive. I like this interaction. It's 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 fun. It's fun to see Burnham not so uptight. How about Isolinium? The plot thickens. <laughs> you said anything else I need. Should be enough Latin to cover it. Well, sadly, the price goes up with multiple bidders, and there's already someone else in play. But perhaps you knew that. Yeah. It's a book, isn't it? I had a hunch, but I wasn't certain. I'm in. All the way. And for what it's worth. Uh, I mean, te technically you're still following orders, so I don't know why she's being so secretive with her crew. I guess, uh, plausible deniability, but still. Check out his eyes. It was blinking to indicate some sort of cheat. We need to talk. He says, I don't got time for this. They'll understand how you got pulled into this. I wasn't pulled into anything. Yeah, it's not going to be that simple, Burnham. How much do you want to take the Isolinium out of play? Three times what you have now. Five. It's a lot. Which means we need to score a lot of Latinum. Fast. 
Got any tricks up your sleeve? Got an idea. Hmm. Oh, I've seen thumbnail images of Owo fighting. So is she gonna fight to earn the latinum? No! How many times do I have to say it? Return to Doc! Oof. Dang, dude. Calm down. He's in a volatile emotional state and I didn't do enough. This is what Kovic was warning me about. You did everything you could. As much as any therapist could. He did is not on you. Yeah. The hollow deck just got updated with the Venabalia bloom from Salada Majeure, so how about we Date night field full of flowers for a bit. <laughs> Come on. Get your mind off of it. Self care. It's important. Place your bed. See, this doesn't this doesn't feel like a forced character moment. It's just like she happened to be here. And she happens to be a good fighter, apparently, so. Oof. I think that qualifies as hitting the mat. Oh, interesting. It's a changeling. The network is a ring of one. Like an actual changeling? I thought maybe it was going to be more of like a, some sort of like holographic illusion, but maybe not. Be cool to see another changeling in a, in a modern Star Trek show. Okay, rematch. Last one. All in. We have what are you going to do differently, Owo? Like, what can you do differently? I did all want to watch you Well, at least, at least Burnham is betting with her. That's, uh... Someone should teach you and your friends some manners. It's a lot of confidence. Ooh. So has she been has she just been putting on a show this whole time? To to heighten the odds and get the get the, the betting pool up. Oh well, he's down. Joanne! Oh wow! Oh what <laughs> oh, oh wow. That's so funny. You definitely don't want to do that. Thanks for your cost. My pleasure. Yeah. To, uh... Uh, I get it. Well, at least Book is willing to defend Michael. I mean, he does love her. He did, he did leave her the note that said he loves her, so... Hmm. Interesting. Oh, I, li I like I like their take on the changeling makeup. It's not too different than what we've what we've seen in DS9. Looks like we got it draw. Technically, the latinum happened first. Latinum talks, Haas, and you Haas, should hear yeah. this loud and clear. And <sighs> oh boy. Drop out. Still nothing. Act like an armus. Swim the Paravian Ocean with weighted boots. You would think Burnham would be like, oh yeah, let these guys take the Isolinium. Because, I mean, she just doesn't want Book to have it. I mean, I guess Book could, like, steal it from them or make a deal with them or something. You know who those two are, right? Emerald Chain holdouts, hoping to be the next Osira. Yeah, I know. Ah, that's why they don't want them to have the, the stuff. Wow! <laughs> what What's your play here? How are you folks doing? Things going well in the intimidation? Huh? What is... What is her... What? that their signal was to put their hand on their face obviously there's a plan here between book and burnham but still yeah they're signaling to each other helping each other well at least they won't be getting it while well, keeping a promise maybe to that someone who does okay you're boring me go stand somewhere else Touch the nerve. She knows it. You can choose to make something good come out of it. I don't think you're going to be able to convince him to change his mind. I don't appreciate bad behavior at my table. Goodbye. Well, now it's just them versus each other. No more helping each other. Whoever wins gets it. I don't know. I don't know who's going to... 
I don't I don't have any idea which way it could go. I feel like I feel like it'll go to Burnham just because otherwise uh, Tarka will like go through with the weapon. I'll be one of the tools they use. Don't listen, Book. She's trying to manipulate you emotionally, giving you an ultimatum. I'm not saying she's wrong, but that is what she's doing. Let's end it. I'm cool either way. I think. We'll see. All in. Straight. I don't know poker, so don't know what that means. If that's good. Flush. So who won? I don't know. Oh, I guess book one. Cool. Well, what you gonna do now? Well, doing it for the right reasons should help. It never does. I'm still, I guess I'm still a little confused as to Tarka's logic. Like what, what is he gaining, gaining from this? And lost. Not quite. Book is incredible at Leonian poker. So going into the game, I already knew that I would lose. Did... So. Oh. I made the best play that I could with the hand that I was dealt. Oh, did she? Capacity and shape are. Oh, she put a tracker or something on it. Okay. I respect it. The signal can be detected from multiple sectors away. Well, now you have a way to track them. Apologies for the interruption, Admiral, but Commander Stamets has something very important to show you. It cannot wait. Hmm? Something to do with the search arts? Their technological capabilities are beyond our wildest assumptions. How do you conclude that from this? It looks like a blob. Hmm. I mean, she's not wrong broad spectrum of black body radiation this does not therefore it can only be artificial and whatever it some sort of cloak it's be astronomical the amount of energy required to maintain that where would all that energy come from well i mean they need a ton of energy for the dma as well so the dma changed location what are you thinking oh is that how they're getting the energy it's using the dma there is no trace of boronite at any of the dma's prior known locations the DMA removed it. They mined it. So it's... Okay. It's the purpose of the DMA. Okay, okay. Well, I like that answer. And if their power supply is threatened, it will almost certainly be seen as a hostile act. Hmm. Not wrong. Must be stopped. Whatever the cost. I know. Well, yeah. Makes sense. All right, I actually enjoyed that episode, surprisingly. And we got we got a lot more Book and Tarka than I was expecting. I thought it was just going to be like, oh, they're off in the background, and we're going to get just Burnham and the Federation scrambling to figure out what they're doing and where they are. Yeah, but I don't know. I, li I, liked, I liked that. We got to see where they were, and we got to see some interpersonal conflict between Book and Burnham. I do, I do like the amount of Owo that we got. Owo Shikan. I don't know if I'm saying that right. I like that we got to see her fight. I thought that was a lot of fun. I liked her interaction with Tarka. I definitely don't think that Tarka is lying about, or I don't think he was lying to Book about his motivation and the person he lost. Maybe I'm just not remembering, but I don't quite understand Tarka's end goal. I may have to go back and rewatch that that little part and and maybe get some better understanding. And maybe maybe we just don't know all all of the details yet. I liked the inclusion of the changeling. Nice to see some beyond Picard. This I'm pretty sure this came out before. Uh, th this definitely came out before Picard season three. So this was really the first time we've seen a changeling since DS9 that I can recall. I could be I could be mistaken. You can correct me. So that's cool. I mean, must have been exciting to see a changeling uh, beyond the Dominion War or a. Uh, even even a changeling that has uh, that is not necessarily directly connected to the Dominion War or directly motivated by the events of the Dominion War, so that that's good. I like that. It was very brief, but still cool. Uh, I liked the 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 very small. It was very small. The very small plot of, or at least it was a continuation of the pressure that Culber has been putting on himself uh, and seeing uh, Stamets reach out to him to get get him out of that funk and 
I don't know. I, I liked that moment. It, it didn't feel like it was like a forced moment. It felt very, I don't know. It, it felt like a natural extension of that plot, but also a good showing of the relationship between Stamets and Colbert. I actually, I actually really like President Rillick and how she has, I don't know, how she was willing to discipline Michael for going against the or the direct orders, finding a loophole. But then I, I did, I did like that that reveal that Burnham placed a tracker on the can't remember what the compound was called or the element, whatever it is. Don't remember what it was called, but uh, I, I liked that she put the tracker on there. It works for me. And then finding out the real reason for the DMA, the real motivation for Species 10C to put this device out there. I don't know. It, it makes me wonder how much, like, do they know and they just don't care? Like, do they know that they're destroying life, that they're destroying whole civilizations for the sake of powering their 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 worlds and their system, star system? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe because that could be the case that they just don't care that the, the, the destruction that happens because of the DMA. Because, I mean, you would think that there would be some locations, some planets or bodies in space that have this this element that they're looking for without the need to totally, I don't know. You would, you would think that there would be those places without a civilization or without people living on it, you know, and that they would... I mean, if they're that advanced in their technology, they could easily have it, the DMA detect whether there's life signs on a planet before going in and just harvesting this element or whatever it is. I don't know. I, I, I assume it seems like the Federation wants to give them the, the benefit of the doubt, or at least Burnham and President Rillick and everyone who was there wants to give them the benefit of the doubt that they don't know that they're destroying life on planets on a planet-wide scale and beyond a planet-wide scale you know just but i don't know i i hope that there is some good explanation for why they they just seem not to or that they seem to just destroy planets and and whatnot indiscriminately so i don't know i don't know but overall i did enjoy this episode there wasn't really anything egregious in my opinion Nothing, nothing that I can really think of to complain about, personally. This, this episode gets a thumbs up from me. <laughs> but let me know what you guys thought about this episode in the comments. So far, so far, second half of the season, shaping up to be better than the first half. I mean, it's really only one episode so far, so it's kind of hard to make that big of a judgment. But I don't know, I guess, I guess I'll find out. But I think, I think those are all my thoughts for this episode. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for your support. I appreciate uh, your patience with my negative opinions. <laughs> And I hope that, I don't know, I, ho I hope that the, the show continues to surprise me with good things going forward. I don't expect it to be perfect, but you can never really expect that from anything. So, but I'm, uh, I am looking forward to seeing what happens next. If this, if this episode has any indication as to what the future may hold. And hopefully I will see you guys then.